What is up everybody and welcome to game number 53 of the rain climb for today's game I'm going to be playing in silver 4 uh, 24 LP and I will be playing Fiora top lane versus I believe oh it's Jarvan I thought it was gonna be Pantheon okay um, so yeah anyways as you can see there's a background in the loading screen now this is as a part of uh, the new patch that just came out uh, this morning which is 5.7 and there were a few changes nothing too big to really uh, talk about in this video in particular I think um, but yeah today we're playing on a new patch and uh, as we can see the Annie in our team is actually gold or had a or has a gold border which means that she was gold last season I think this is the first uh, gold border that I've seen in my loading screen so I guess that's a little bit exciting yeah <laughs> okay let's just go for oh, I don't know if I should go flash start or if I should just go Doran's Blade I'll go Doran's Blade start okay so I'm just gonna go standard Fiora I'm gonna or not standard Fiora I'm gonna try the standard top lane thing which I've been doing for like the past uh, the, the, the past like all the videos that I've done in the past that was top lane like I've done two top lane videos in a row now and I've actually you know uh, taken the Raptors camp and it's gone like pretty well so in the renekton game i felt like it did give me a somewhat of an advantage in the show that game maybe not as much but it was still pretty good but uh yeah i'm gonna start raptors camp so lee could you start blue i want to do i want to do raptors camp oh my god I, like he's gonna start red, which I understand that's pretty standard for Lee Sin because then he can like invade blue and stuff. But I really want to do this. Oh my god, if he's gonna do that, I can't do the, this camp. Okay, okay, he seems to be switching his mind. Thank you. All right, great. That's very appreciated, Lee Sin. I mean, starting blue isn't that bad. It, it actually kind of makes you unpredictable because most Lee Sin start red, so his position in the map can be a little bit harder to read this way. So that's good. Okay, so I'm gonna put a point into W, which gives me 15 AD, and also gives me an ability to uh, parry one auto attack from. Is it? Yeah, large, large minions and large monsters. So like the big raptor is gonna have like one auto like deflected completely, and uh, yeah, hopefully this will work out. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna hope for the best. Come on. Okay, I think this is easy. Oh god, hang on. I'm gonna pop my pot because then I was scared. Okay. No, I'm gonna be fine actually. Damn it. I, I, maybe that pot was wasted. We'll see. Oh man, this is actually pretty slow <laughs> because I'm used to pure auto attacks. But hey, it's being done. Oh my god, I just realized one thing though. I don't have teleport. Holy shit, if Yarvin doesn't completely push out the lane like crazy. Okay, it's not really gonna reach it. The, okay, okay. It's fine, it's fine. We're still gonna make it. We're still gonna make it, guys. All right, let's just heal up and let's go to the top lane. Oh my god! The reason why that works so well though is because you have teleport, and I completely forgot that I didn't go for teleport this game. Damn it! Whatever. Ignite is still good on Fiora because that's how she gets her kills. Once once she hits six, so yeah. But now like I can't like now I'm just even with uh, Jarvan. The only difference here is that I actually have a bunch of pots and and an extra ward, which I mean is still good, but. Yeah, this could have been a little bit better, I think. Okay, at least last hit that with Q. He hits me with Q as well. Doesn't really do too much to me, though. And the good thing about Fiora, though, is that whenever she auto attacks a minion, she actually gets a stack of her passive, which allows her to uh, regen some health. Which isn't really that great, but uh, the longer the game goes, or the lane goes, uh, Fiora tends to out sustain her opponents just because of that. Just last hit that thing. Let's put a point into the E. And from here on, I'm just gonna start maxing out all oh, the parry though. He actually decided to auto attack trade with me, which isn't too wise because I can use trigger my W and I'll parry one of his auto attacks. And you know, if I just back off from there, like I win the trade. Okay, does he wanna fight me again? Oh, he does. <laughs> oh man, that is actually so cool. Like, I was playing around with Fiora on my stream a little bit. People kind of saw like uh, how I failed a lot early on as Fiora, but. The more games I play with her, I seem to get the hang of her and just, you know, it, it was, it started to get more fun and I realized that, you know, once you hit 6, it almost becomes like an automatic free win because, like, oh, Lee's in his top, okay, this is good. Hey, hey, fight me, fight me, dude. Oh, he actually goes in with his QE, so now he makes himself vulnerable to Lee Sin. 
hit Q. He's gonna flash over the wall. I'm not even gonna. <laughs> I'm not even gonna ignite because he's so dead, and he even uses his flash, and you know, it <laughs> he's dead. Nice. All right, so let's just go ahead and get these minions. So my first goal, uh, first item to purchase is going to be the Ravenous Hydra or the Tiamat first, of course. Uh, what this does is Fiora's auto attacks in, in the ultimate actually become AoE. So in team fights, you actually deal a lot more damage than you normally would. And you know, it's just great. And not to mention, Fiora doesn't have any AoE spells, so uh, having Tiamat or Ravenous Hydra really helps out a lot in just, you know, shoving out the lane and stuff. And you don't really want to be building static shit with Fiora, so yeah, that's not gonna be an option for AoE as Fiora. <laughs> oh god. Okay, my my auto attack isn't actually that quick, so I gotta be careful about minions being missed. Fight me, bro! Fight me! Come on, fight me! Oh my god, he hit me with his Q. That's wise. Whatever. I missed some minions, but that's okay. Let's just go back here. Oh, what? Fu uh, Annie died. That was a strange place to die as Annie. I wasn't paying attention in the map. I guess she was being chased around. Anyways. Uh, let's get a pickaxe and let's start leaving towards top lane. Wait, wait, I can also afford a pink ward, so let's just go ahead and get that. I should probably start using my wards because now I'm starting to have like a lot of wards for no reason. I'm almost level 6 though, which is really good. Uh, Jarvan opt- he's going for the same path as me, but he went for like the poor man's rod, which is, you know, two rejuvenation beads and one longsword. Which, you know, is fine, but it's not really ideal. So, I'm gonna put my pink ward in this brush, because this is the most important brush to have warded when you're on this side of the top. There we go. And I'll just put a trinket here. Yeah, okay. So Jarvan has more minions on his side, I need to be careful about just walking in on him here, because if he chooses to fight me, okay, he chooses to fight me away from the minions, which is, you know, actually good for me. So I'm just gonna trigger my E, hit him with Q, and he's dead. I don't even have to ignite him. Nice. Alright. Well. He got cocky, he decided to QE me, but it wasn't inside of his minions, which like, he had a lot of minions, so if he chose to fight me among his minions, like, he would've won. But, uh, no, he was like, no, I'll take the fight to you, Fiora, and then he died, so, yeah, I don't know what that was, but he just made it so easy for me to win that. Like, I was already ahead, and those minions were his only advantage, and he completely, like, he was like, nope. I'll, I'll fight my own battles, and no, that's not how League of Legends works. It's a team game. Even minions count as teammates. Come on. You gotta, you gotta make the most out of them. But alright. Uh, if he wants to make me snowball, I will snowball. That's fine by me. So yeah, I still have my summoner spells. I still have flash. I still have ignite. And uh, I do have my ultimate now. So by the time Jarvan comes top, I'm pretty sure I will kill him. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, he's, he's top now. I'm gonna pop one of my help I'm gonna realize I'm still low. Oh, hang on. Okay, parry that. Hit him with Q again. Hit my E. Come on. Okay, I'm just gonna ignite ultimate. Because he's so dead now. Yeah, he can't do anything about that. Alright, so uh, that's another kill gotten on him. He seems. Maybe he doesn't really understand how Fiora works because he seems to, like. The, the idea to deal with Fiora is that you tr want to like try to bait out the parry so that she doesn't parry you. So like you just walk up to her pretending that you're gonna auto attack her. And then she kinda like has to use her uh, parry because otherwise uh, she will you know not deflect an auto attack or at least she thinks she won't. And you know you kinda have to play mind games against the Fiora and he is not. He's just going straight for it. He's like oh I can kill you. He, was, he just walks up to me and he he gets parried, like his first auto attack gets parried completely, like I don't take any damage and I reflect like 210 magic damage, which is quite a lot by the way. And uh, yeah, that kind of a trade is really dangerous to lose. And it's just gonna, you know, it's just gonna backfire and you're gonna get destroyed. Alright, so I just noticed my team is actually not doing too well anymore. We were like winning, we were in the lead, but now uh, the game is 4-5 and I have like, I've been part of the tree of the four kills that my team has, so uh, obviously uh, I'm the one doing the best right now in the team, so the pressure is on me to do well. So now I really have to put the pain to Yarvin and really try and just, you know, destroy him because the less time he spends on the map, that gives me more time to be elsewhere in the map, right? That's how it goes. Oh god, I missed that mini. I tried to get it with the TMN active, but it was too slow. Okay, so now I push out really fast. And, uh, oh god, hang on. Let's get this minion. Get this one. Just keep going. Oh shit. Hang on.
Hang on. Let's just hit him with Q. Oh. He's got a claw farmer now, so he's a little bit more tankier than he was before. Oh shit, Balin is getting completely destroyed. This might be a hard game. <laughs> Jinx is blaming the Lee Sin so much, but like, it's not Lee Sin's fault. They should be playing a little bit more careful if they're already behind. Uh, let's just get this minion, let's get this one. If he fights me again... No! Okay, there we go, the parry. Did you see that burst damage when he auto-attacked me? That is the insane damage of Fiora's, uh, uh, what's it called, W? It's not actually called parry, it's called repost, which is, you know, preposterous. No, I'm just kidding. But, um, yeah, like, the W spell is actually so strong when you're dealing with someone you can predict the auto-attacks off. Like, it just deflects so much magic damage, and it's just pretty silly. Come on, fight me! Oh my god, he just wanna... Fight me, come on. I didn't even have my parry up at that point, but I was just strong enough to actually do that. Wow. Okay, so my team is doing really not too well. I kind of wish I got teleport now. I really do. Because the ignite really didn't serve me much uh, early on. And yeah, it was just really... I kind of feel like the ignite was a waste in this game. But uh, it, I might not say that the longer the game goes. So yeah, I'll just reserve my thoughts on that. Mm, Balin is really getting shoved in. I really wish I could just teleport in from somewhere. But it looks like Annie's going to be doing the ganking. Guys, relax and play the game. <laughs> Some encouraging words. <laughs> Not really that encouraging, but, you know, I gotta remind them that we're still in the game. We still haven't lost just yet. It's just not looking very bright for us, that's all. Okay, that's his Q down. Okay, he actually auto attacked me a few times, but I didn't trigger my W there because I kind of want to mind game him that I forgot about my W. Uh, because he's under his turret so much, I'm actually gonna start, like, see if I can, you know, conjunct a little bit, maybe... Wait, does LeBlanc have her blue? Uh, doesn't look like it. I could wait in here for Lee Sin to come, and I'm just gonna go ahead and take the blue. If he comes around, I'll just kill him. Oh! Oh! Okay, wait, it's not a Lee Sin. Okay, hang on. Oh! Oh my god, I actually got destroyed, hang on. Oh my god, I thought I could actually wait until I was like really low health and then I would destroy him. But uh, yeah, apparently I can be hurt while I'm in like in the ultimate. Holy shit, is my team not gonna get this kill? Wow, okay, so I had two people at top lane and my team lost a 3 versus 4 in bot. That is not very good for us. Okay, I get, I get my Ravidus Hydra at least, so now I actually have lifesteal. Which is good, you know. But uh, unfortunately, I died a death. I really didn't need to die. Panjin was actually surprisingly strong. He, he had like double claw farmer, so it was actually pretty tanky against my damage. But uh, hopefully I won't repeat that mistake now. And uh, yeah, I should just destroy this Jarvan. I should just take out his turret. That's what I should be doing. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I need to show these guys that, you know, I am ahead and I'm going to stay ahead. Oh my god, Jarvan is like really trying his best to uh, get rid of my turret. Okay, let's just get this minion. Let's just go ahead and do this. Nice. Um, this one mana pot that I bought really didn't serve me any purpose. <laughs> like, it was pretty useless. Okay, I think Jarvan may have gone back now because he probably has a lot of gold to spend. Uh, I don't know if any noticed, but Pantheon is mid. Okay, let's just go ahead and keep shoving, keep shoving. This should be a pretty free tower. Like, Jarvan is nowhere to be seen, and Pantheon is around mid, so he can't really ult me from there. Alright, that's tower down. And now, oh, damn. I kind of just want to shove a little bit more. And then start roaming, because right now, like, my team really needs me badly. Okay, that's top lane shoved. Let's go towards mid, I guess, first. See if I can do anything there. My ultimate isn't up until 20 seconds. LeBlanc is playing really aggressive, though. She just put her W on cooldown there. Oh, Bob got destroyed again. How does it not become obvious that Pantheon's gonna, like, ult bot at that point? Okay, let's get this. Let's get this. Oh, okay. You got her. Okay, she Ws that direction. She goes back. Okay, just hit her with this, and she's dead. Alright. Oh, that was not a shutdown? I thought LeBlanc was fed. Well, that's a shame. Uh, well, this game is gonna be a slow one, but uh, I'm not gonna give up my hopes just yet. Uh, they're all together, so I don't know if this is actually a really wise idea. And Jarvan is top of least, so he's being kept up there. 
I don't have my ignite. Oh shit, okay. There are three here, so I'm gonna die if I actually go for a fire right now. Wait, they're doing blue? Ward, come on. Oh my god. That was a really late ward. But okay. Um, I got 1,400 gold. I can buy some things with this. Uh, let's see, what kind of team do they have? Magic, physical, physical, magic, physical. Uh, snare, stun, snare, stun. Might be a good game for Mercturids, but I'm gonna hold back a little bit. I'll just go for Brutalizer. I really want to go for your straight damage. So uh, I'll just go for Last Whisper next item. Oh shit. Wait. Oh my god. Jarvan actually got his first kill. I am so sad now. Holy shit. I can't believe they didn't play more careful than that. Okay. Well, tough game. And uh, Jinx, are you gonna come around? probably use your help right now I could go in there but like I would only kill Jarvan but I would get myself killed and that would not be worth it if I'm gonna die I need to get at least two kills done otherwise it's never gonna be like ever worth it oh he's ultra phasing okay flash that okay that Jarvan doesn't have like any mana wait wait oh that was a pretty poor uh Okay, let's just go ahead and ignite this guy. Oh, that was a good snare. Oh, look at this though. Look at this though. Oh my god, that was <laughs> that was so simple. So as soon as LeBlanc jumped on me with her with her W, I countered it with my ultimate, so I avoided her damage and I just kept chasing. Like my ultimate is always like chasing my targets. Hang on, we can keep going for more turrets, and then we go after dragon afterwards. All right. Damn, that was actually pretty beast. I didn't even think about it. But <laughs> then when it like it all like just happened, like it was just really good. Wow, that was a really quick kill. Okay, let's go go ahead and do dragon, 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 dragon. I believe it's up. We can have our first dragon. We just took two turrets and I got so fed off of that. Look, dragon is there. Oh, this is so risky actually. But uh I do have a lot of damage. So hopefully it's gonna be enough. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Trigger my Tiamat for more damage. Come on, you can do it, Lee Sin. Just a smite. Okay, we got it. I'm probably gonna die here, but you know, just got dragon. So I guess that was kind of worth it. <laughs> Maybe not. Whatever. Okay, shut down to Yarvin. That wasn't so pretty. But um, I think we're still doing okay. Do they have much armor? Yeah, they do. Damn it, that means I need to rush Last Whisper for real. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. I'll sell my health, uh, my mana pot, and buy. It feels bad to build like Merc Treads. Oh wait, Vayne is super fed. Damn, that is actually a good case to buy Ninja Tabbies, but they have so much CC too. And one of the worst parts about Fiora is getting crowd control to death. I'll just buy normal boots and I'll sell this and get Avarice Blade. Okay, so I'm kind of going like a semi. Uh, Ghost Blade build into uh, Last Whisper. It may seem a little bit strange, but uh, this should work out. It's fine. Okay, so F uh, Vayne is just farming top lane. She's pushing it out a little bit. I kind of want to help out mid, but I know that if I go top, I can win a duel easily against the Vayne. I think. I should be able to win it, because I do have ultimate. So if she ever gets me into trouble, I'll use ult her while I jumped on her face. How long is the... Oh, that's right. The ultimate range of fury is actually really short. Okay, 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 okay. She's probably hiding in the brush. Yeah, I'm gonna check this brush first. She might ultimate and stealth. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Oh, she healed. Okay, where's my ultimate? Here we go. Okay. Okay, she flashed and she got herself killed. So yeah, he's, as you saw there, like, fear is so unfair. When she's losing, but she's still, like, having a close fight, all she has to do is ultimate and, like, the other person can't, like, retaliate. And like, I got the summoner spells of like, Vayne there. Vayne no summoners. I gotta type that out. Okay, and because I have Tiamat, or Ravenous Hydra, I actually heal off a lot just like pushing waves like this. I don't know where the enemy team is, so I'm gonna back up before I get like Pantheon ulted. Oh wait, I'm gonna maybe run into them here. Oh look, here she is. Ah, oh, I don't have my ultimate though, this sucks. I'm gonna put a ward here because this is actually a really risky zone. Like, there's no vision. Almost made me wish that I had a blue trinket. And my team kills to support Morgana. Sweet. 
That was more than I expected. Ultimate isn't gonna be up until 50 seconds. Oh shit, Trash kinda got a little bit greedy there. Oh hey, this is totally doable. Nice. Okay. Uh, I was almost gonna say Baron, uh, but we should just push top. Get top, get top. Come on, guys. Holy shit, these guys are not gonna be. Okay, whatever. I guess I'll just push on my own then. I guess that's also fine. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. So we just kind of started coming back slowly from like being really far behind. That is really good sign. Let's go ahead and do this. Wait. wait, wait, wait. Oh shit, I should have triggered my E spell a lot more often <laughs> this game. But that just goes to show like my inexperience with Fiora. Oh, I don't know. Was that really necessary? Maybe it was. I didn't really look at what like what she was being chased by, but I thought she was safe. Okay, so I can get my last whisper now. Oh. For me? Okay, for me. I'm the one who's doing like really well this game, so I should be getting the red buffs. Um we should be careful about this. So I'm gonna ping the the blue flag, which means help me, guys, you know? Okay, let's get the last whisper. Let's also get the red elixir and let's start moving out. Okay, Trash got it warded, we're good. So now I have last whisper. This means I'm I'm gonna deal damage to Pantheon and Jarvan again. Morgana doesn't have a Sony's eyeglass, so that's lucky I suppose. But those two champions it's worth just building a uh, last whisper against because I wanna deal damage to them when the time is right. Okay, so if LeBlanc jumps me again, I will use counter her with my ultimate once again. Okay, where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Am I gonna find you here? LeBlanc. Oh, I got snared. Sad boys. Okay, whatever. Uh, bot turret is still standing, which kind of bothers me. Oh, look at that. It's almost like fate. I wanted to go bot and then LeBlanc goes there to actually clear the minion waves. Okay, let's have a duel, LeBlanc. We can do this, right? No, don't be scared, bro. Okay, where's the jump? Oh, that was kind of the jump, I guess. She gonna jump back? No! Okay, she she went back the, the other way, though. But okay, I kept LeBlanc busy, and... Uh, oh, she's still here. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and take the turret, because this is the priority. Oh, dude. Oh, dude, exhaust? Not so sure if that was needed, because she was gonna jump away anyway. There's uh, Morgana, let's just keep shoving this. And let's go ahead and get this turret. This turret should be pretty free. Okay, I get snared by Morgana. It really doesn't mean anything. This tower is so done. Wow, that new spell effect on her thing though. Nice, she gets killed instantly. We're just gonna keep going. Wait, are they... Jarwin is still... Wait, what? Why is nobody defending top? We... We're doing so well here. Oh my god, I hate this game. Oh shit, I'm gonna flash before I give a shutdown, so yeah. I'm just gonna go top before like this jinx spaghetti's all over the place. This is a bad spot to recall because there's a chance they have a ward here. This as well. Uh, Vayne just blue trinketed, so that means she's gonna try and fight this. Wait, wait, we can totally. Okay, here we go. Parry, and she kills herself with my parry. Perfect. I knew she was gonna. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I kinda wanted to fight that, but. I'm so low, dude. Okay, whatever. Hang on. They may go for dragon? Okay, she's seen me. I don't have my ultimate, so I can't really counter her. Okay, that's that. My ultimate is up in 5 seconds. So sad. Wait. James kept fighting the Jarvan, and she still lost. Damn it, dude. Okay, I got the Gromp. My ultimate is up. Now I might be able to kill both of these guys. Okay, hang on. Oh, beast mode. Nice. Alright. Alright. That was so worth. Holy shit. Okay. Lee Sin is actually here, so we can actually go ahead and get second dragon. Let's go ahead and do that. No! Don't don't make dragon fight Oh shit. Okay, okay, we got it, we got it. No need to panic. Alright, so two thousand three hundred gold. Just getting so much gold out of nowhere. I can actually start building things that will make me far more powerful than I am right now. Okay, let's see. Who's fed? Vayne. I'm not really gonna build armor against Vayne, so I guess he's going pure damage. Mm, now that I think about it, Black Cleaver is actually a really good purchase, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get that. And... Should you just go Sarah Graves? Instead of like, any like defensive boots? Okay, okay. I'll just go Sarah Graves. I'm going full AD carry Fiora here. 
Okay, so with the Black Cleaver, uh, every time I deal physical damage, I will shred the armor of people. So like this kind of helps uh, the Jinx to deal some damage to like uh, Pantheon and Jarvan while I'm uh, trying to kill them. So uh, yeah, this is kind of me like just sharing the love a little bit, you know, like make her be able to also deal damage. Because I'm so far ahead, I may as well help, you know? Oh shit, she's so dead. Let's do this. No, 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 wait, no, no, no. That's a bad call. Not not just yet. I realized they were still around. Okay, let's put a ward here. Oh man, I wish I had a yellow trinket upgrade now. My ultimate is up in 20 seconds, though. Okay, let's just go ahead and do this. Shove here. <laughs> this Jinx is like getting so freaked out at the fact that she doesn't have kills. Oh my god, Annie used one shot to LeBlanc. Well, it was more like a two shot, but. Hey, that was really good because now, you know, LB is dead, so is Morgana. We can just, we can just keep shoving mid. Come on, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, let's just get this turret. Oh shit, okay. Oh wait, I thought he was gonna go in there, but he didn't because I was under turret. I was like, that is such a free engage for him. But I was ready to press my ultimate as soon as he went in on me, but yeah, he didn't put out his flag, so he wasn't gonna jump. I could go in here. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna go in and do all my burst damage and then ultimate. Look at this. There's all getting shredded. Oh, please. Wait, where's Spain? Let me hit her. Oh, whatever. Okay. Well, Jinx got two kills there, so at least I guess she's gonna be a little bit happy. Let's go ahead and take this turret. Let's get the inhib too. Come on. Let's go ahead and get this thing. We got it. Alright, time to go back. Or, wait, no. Don't get greedy, team. Don't get greedy. Like, it's still it's still early. Death timers are really short. <laughs> like we're at their base, so yeah. At least my team actually listened to me. I I, I get, I'm just gonna guess they actually respect my opinion because I've been doing well. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go to bot and take all that farm for myself. Uh, I believe Ghostblade is about like. 1,300 gold? Yeah. Oh, all this farm. Oh man, I only need 100 more, which is like this wave. Perfect. Let's go ahead and do this, that, and do that, and now I can go back. And I can get my ghost blade. So yeah, that last team fight, holy shit, I, like, I, my black cleaver was actually so useful there, because my, like, my Tiamat AoE procs, it just, like, shredded so hard. Wait, what? Oh my god. I forgot, that's the cost if you have a Brutalizer. I don't have the Brutalizer anymore. Oh no. Holy shit, can I buy anything else with this? No. Uh, what if I sell this Dorn's Blade though? Uh, oh man, whatever. I'll just get Brutalizer. That's a perfect purchase. And I'll also get like a, a Jello Trinket upgrade. That's fine. The only thing that's so sad about this is that I don't get to have like my Red Elixir, which is something I really like. Um, okay. So I'm guessing right now we need to prioritize Baron a lot because Dragon is gonna be up until what two minutes? Oh shit! And he got caught out. Wait, is there gonna be someone here? Okay, hang on. Oh shit! The snare lasted so long I couldn't ult. I'm so sad. That was my own mistake. I thought I could just do all my burst damage on Pantheon and then finish them all off with like with my ultimate. Oh man. Wait, what is Jinx doing? Oh, she's trying to auto attack fight a Jarvan, which is really interesting, especially when you're in melee. <laughs> okay, so that was pretty much all me almost, I would say, because I'm the one who's really strong. I shouldn't be the one that's like going in like crazy. Look at this though. Even if they get like our towers, like they don't they don't have any minions, so like the minions are gonna push into their base. This is not a good call. The best call here would have been to use Gun Baron. Like, they, they're committing a mistake here. So yeah, that should be maybe a Baron for us. Because Pantheon is all the way back there. Uh, I don't know if my team is actually catching on to this, but yeah. It seems like they're all flocking for top lane. I really hope that uh, Jinx doesn't go bot. Like, we really, really need to be around Baron. Oh god. Jinx, please. <laughs> okay, she's coming, she's coming. She realized that everyone is going to towards Baron, so like she probably needs to be there too. Uh, oh my God, Jinx! No, Jinx! Are you kidding me? Oh, we, we might actually lose all of this then. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Oh, okay. No, are you kidding me? Wait, 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 wait. 
Dude, that snare lasts forever. Okay, my ultimate went off in time. Oh my god, I didn't get the kill on her. This is so bad. Holy shit. Why did Jinx go bot lane? I'm so sad, dude. She just needed to go with us there. Like, imagine if Jinx was there when, like, Vayne got stunned there. Like, she could have pulled down her, uh, her snares, her traps, and, like, that would have been so free. How's, how's this going? Oh god, we might actually get a Nexus Tower though. Thanks to the inhib that we got. Nice, Morgana can't do anything to stop this. In fact, she might actually die to the minions. Oh my god, dude. I can't believe we actually just gave away the Baron like that. Honestly, I should have made a call to just, you know, not have gone for it, but I thought maybe we still had a chance because I was so strong, but obviously I really overestimated my own strength and, uh, yeah. Now my team has to pay for it. Twice now. Damn it. Okay, they got dragon. So they have two drags. So do we. It's kind of unfortunate that he got that dragon because I thought, you know, maybe one thing we could rely on for the late game would be to just go for that uh, fifth dragon. Is she gonna be here? If Vayne, like, ults me or stuns me into a wall, I'm gonna be so upset. Okay, she's not here. What about here? Put a ward down here. She might be doing golems. Uh, no. Okay, there's there's uh, the what's it called the, the LeBlanc. Okay, she's not there anymore. Whatever. Okay, uh, I kind of want to push Bob, but I feel like my team is about to get caught out like really badly in the enemy jungle. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. I am seeing like Trash about to get about to get caught, so I'm just gonna go in here. Okay, we're gonna go in. We're gonna go in. Are we? Uh, Annie, you have you have Tibbers. Why didn't you? Why didn't you? Come on, Annie. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, here we go, ultimate, AoE, damage everywhere. Come on, okay. Oh, please. Oh my god, I'm just going for damage on anything here. Where is she? Okay, oh my god, I got condemned. I hate this game. Holy shit. Wait, my ghost play never went off? Oh my god, that could have actually been quite a difference. Okay, so, let's see here. I took a lot of physical damage. What? What? Morgana has a Bami Cinder? <laughs> She's gonna be building a Sunfire Cave this game. Mm. Okay, so I guess I should really consider getting a Mercurial Scimitar here because the QSS would have actually saved me if I when, when I got stunned there against Spain. And not to mention all those times I actually got snared by Morgana, which really like stopped my my tempo. So, yeah. Okay, let's just go ahead and get Fuhrer. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, not Fuhrer. We'll go ahead and get... Alacrity, and let's also get uh, an old magic mental. Okay. Maybe a Guardian Angel would actually be far better. Yeah, okay. A Guardian Angel, I think, would be the best choice. Because uh, I'm used to ridiculous, like, melee to carry at this point. And if I can revive one more time, like, it's it should be game. Oh, what is this? Oh, that was a close hook. My ultimate is up in 15 seconds. Vayne is still top lane. She does have a lot of items that can, you know, potentially, like, kill me. Okay, she's going back in that brush again. So, this is gonna be a repeat of last time. Okay, parry that. He's gonna run away a little bit. Let my ranged teammates actually deal with this. Whoa, okay, hang on. There's a freaking Jarvan here. So, I'm just gonna ult him before, like, I get destroyed. Wait, we lost this? Holy shit, where was Lee Sin? What? This didn't just happen. This... What? Like, what is everyone else doing? Like, what, what is happening during this? Uh, yeah, I don't think Jinx is gonna survive that. Oh my god. <laughs> this is actually kind of frustrating to play out, but I guess it was also part of my mistake. And Trish just gives himself for free there. What was that? Like, None of your carries are alive. You shouldn't be chasing on your own, like, against two, like, really fed people. That vein is a problem right now, and it really saddens me that she's probably gonna end up winning this game. <laughs> okay, but, you know, I can't just completely surrender just yet. Um, I understand that this game was very hard from the very beginning to, to now. Oh, shit. Okay, she kinda does a bad Sonya's, but it doesn't really matter, because... And he's still dead, and uh, yeah, and all I all I can do at this point is like just try and uh, make sure that the minis don't hit our turrets. I can't 
can't believe we actually got to a point where we did get one of their Nexus turrets, and now we're like here. We're actually going back to losing. Ugh. That's the one thing about Fiora, though. She's not exactly a team fighter, but at the same time, her ultimate is also really good for team fights. So, yeah, going for a duel over a team fight might be. Oh shit! Hang on. What is going on here? Hey, hook him! Oh god. Whatever. Straight hook was all he needed. Okay. Let's just go ahead and do this, do this, do that. Wait, what is that? Okay. Damn, dude, it's really annoying to be dealing with this vein because she's like so strong, she can actually kill me at this point. She's gotten that fed now. Okay, maybe we can bait her because. Okay, she got vision of me. What? I ulted there. As soon as I queued and ignited her, I actually pressed ult and I still died so fast that my ultimate didn't go off. That is bullshit. That is the second time I've died mid-ult this game. This sucks. Holy shit. Now I see why people don't play Fiora. <laughs> well, I mean, she's still a good champion, but obviously, uh, I don't know, like, the limits. I don't know, like, when am I actually fucked before I ult and stuff like that. So, yeah, this can get really tough. Jinx doesn't have a last whisper. She's going for the Vamp Scepter path, which is really weird considering the fact that they have so much armor including LeBlanc so I don't know who she's gonna be trying to kill Vayne uh, I don't think she's gonna 1v1 the Vayne so going for the Vamp Scepter was probably a silly path she should have gone for the Last Whisper path oh my god what we're just getting pushed into our deaths here okay hang on maybe we can just go ahead and get the Pantheon Cammy's gonna ult here but wow I died mid ultimate again what is that that is Oh my god, I hate this champion, dude. I thought you became untouchable. Wow, and Vayne even gets a pentakill. Whatever. I tried my best. I tried a champion that I don't really play that often. and Obviously, it kind of bit me. I did also do some failed plays in this game. Like, that one time around Baron. And yeah, I did some mistakes. I could have done far better this game. But, eh, whatever. It is what it is. Enemy team just got really fed, and they won. So yeah, uh, if you did like this video, it would be nice to give it a like. And if this is the first time watching one of my videos, you can always subscribe to me because I'm always trying to upload a new ranking daily. Other than that, see you guys watching. This has been me, Steve Roxers.